Hello. Um, I'm gonna give you a little update. It's November and I have had an interesting last few weeks. Went to Cabo, had some okay things go on in the race, some not great parts, but some okay parts and got fourth. And then on the way home, I had a little bit of a situation happen and it was not in Mexico. It was actually in the Dallas airport. Um, I'm not gonna give you all the details cause it was pretty crazy, but a man um, who is not, I don't think in his full capacities, decided to attack me and punch me several times. So completely random, didn't know this guy and it was a little freaky to be completely honest. Um, Anyways, took me a couple days to recover from that and get everything checked out and, um, you know, decided over the weekend to run the Madison Half Marathon and with no expectations because I really hadn't been able to do much all week because my body was a little whacked out from the incident. Um, but I really enjoyed the half and I ran slower than usual, but was still able to win, which is nice. So thankful to them for having me. Um, but if you're following, you may have seen that I did over a three hour trainer ride today, which is completely nuts in my book. Um, but that may send a signal that I am going to do one more race for the year. And I am very excited to be heading to Indian Wells. Indian Wells is a race that I have not done before and one of my goals and things I'm kind of looking at right now is I like to kind of have experience at most all if not all of the North American events that exist and Indian Wells is one that I have not gotten to do yet and I've heard amazing things so I am very excited to be heading there and I hope to see a lot of a lot of friendly faces there and get to race of course with some girls that I've been getting to race with a lot lately. So we'll see. We'll see what the body does. You know, can't make too many real improvements or changes since um Cabo, but um hopefully some things go better. So we'll see. I guess another thing I wanted to mention is I know for many, many years, I have loved and really enjoyed being mostly self-coached. I've had um, help from Patrick Brady on the bike, doing my bike plans for the last couple years and, you know, off and on people kind of giving me some advice, but for the most part, it's been my own self kind of taking on the master plan and I'm really excited. I've started working with Ian O'Brien um, the last month or two. And, you know, I don't think that in this race to come, I'm gonna necessarily benefit from any of the stuff we've done. But I think what we're looking at is having a full off season together and having a coach, which takes a little pressure off me and, and what I'm trying to do. Um, and just follow his plan and I'll kind of leave the racing plans also a little bit in in his hands as far as what I get up to but for next year I am interested in revisiting the Ironman distance so we will see so I guess for now it's just um what is it about two weeks till Indian Wells so it's just training here trying to handle the cold weather the best I can. We're definitely um, cooling off right now, mid-November in Wisconsin. I think today's our last day in the upper slash mid 40s and then we're really taking a dive. Um, next week will be high temps uh, below freezing. So yep, it's gonna be just hang on for a couple more weeks of training, probably a lot inside and then have a little breather and I'll kind of try to share a good like end of season debrief because even though I didn't plan on racing much it ended up to be quite a ton 
um, of racing on the back half of the year here. So I'll try and give some some thoughts, some recaps, some things I would have maybe done differently or better, and then um, kind of areas I'm going to work on improving. So, yep, like I said, thanks for following and stay tuned. Thanks for following and yep, I'll keep the updates coming if you guys are interested in this stuff. Hey, bud.